Now there are so many tools out there that can help you to caption and create transcripts. It could be on your phone, it could be on a computer. There are so many out there and I just thought, let me do a review of one of them, which is called otter.ai, the nifty tool. I had a chance to experiment with it and I'd love to show you not just what it looks like on the computer, but also in the app on my phone as well. So let's switch the screen and let me show you what it looks like on a computer first. So here we are, we just switch over and uh, you can see immediately that it's quite obvious that you have everything here on the home page. So one thing that you can try out and I'm going to show you on the phone as well is to add your own custom vocabulary, connect your calendar, tell a friend, you get a free pass and tell you how many minutes you have per month, which in a free account is 600 minutes. I've already done one recording earlier and uh, you can see it on the phone after this recording. But I've done it here and you can see it right there as well. And it's, it's quite nifty tool, it's quite quick, easy to use on the phone. But I wanna show you how it looks when you record it on the computer. So this is how it looks at the top. You got your record and you can also import audio and video, see how it looks as well. So that maybe you can do like a, an auto caption of those as well. But if I click on record and obviously you have to allow your microphone to be recorded and there we go it's simple as that this is just a clean template and the idea as well is i've mentioned many times where you have to have as minimal noise in the background as possible and obviously clear audio so i'm lucky that i have a microphone that makes it very easy for me to have this clean transcribe and yes, there's going to be an issue about accent and all these things that will have an effect. So I'm in a way slightly deliberately trying to speak as clearly as possible, but I should try and do that anyway. And that will obviously make it easier for the tool author to make it clean, make it accurate, make it possible. So when I'm looking at it, it's quite, quite good, isn't it? It's quite accurate. It's not going to be 100% perfect, but it's pretty good when you have good quality audio and a tool and you've got this. So it's pretty nifty that you can do that. What I like as well is you have the comma and the full stop. And maybe if I say my name, so I put in my name, you see it on the phone, the custom vocabulary. So if I say Ahmed Khalifa, it's quite good because believe me, when I try in other places and you don't put in custom vocabulary, it doesn't pick it up. It just picks up some random word that sounds like my name. But anyway, as you can see, it's all written there. You can pause it at the bottom and you can add photo to the actual transcript and you can edit it. So if I'm going to pause it and it's already done for you and what I mean by you can highlight it there is, you know, you can maybe focus on certain ones and you can just say that, oh, this is the most important one. I want to edit that one. Or I think it's more about highlighting really. Yes, it's focusing more on highlighting rather than editing. I'm not able to edit it, but maybe if I press stop recording and you have your note processing there, but while that's going in the background, here's one I made earlier. And you're able to, I'm assuming, you can edit it right there. So you got shortcuts on how to do all these things, which is useful to know. But you can see I can add it right there and it will automatically save. It will do the playback and you can play back in different speed settings or you can play back a particular section as well. But that's how it looks on the computer. Let me transfer it over to the phone and let me show you how it looks over there. Now let's go ahead and check out the author app which I have already installed on my phone and I have already connected my account to the app as well. So when you arrive you will actually get like a tutorial on how to quickly do your transcription. But once you've done that you see the home page right there. Basically you've got all these options of adding your custom vocabulary. So there might be some terms or jargon might be difficult. I'm gonna add in my name because obviously this can be confusing for some people sometimes as well. So let's see how that works out. I'm just gonna save it and uh, we'll go back over here. If you want to connect it to your calendar, that might be useful. Get a reminder to do what you need to do. And obviously if you want to get a paid version or get try it out, send an invite, 
because right now with the basic one you get 600 minutes per month whereas the premium one will give you 6,000 and then you got all the extra features with it like for example the custom vocabulary is 200 whereas in the free version you got five so it's up to you if you want to see whether that works for you but you get the paid monthly version and then obviously annually it's a bit cheaper as well it might be useful for you you never know when you go to the setting section the menu section you get places where you can you know have everything recorded right there and you access it even those have shared with you you might want to even categorize and organize your conversation if you've got a lot of them or you can just have it all in one place by clicking on the all conversation when you go to the settings you've got your usual things in terms of notification and all importing and connecting and you can see you can do all of that right there in terms of the advanced settings this might be useful for some of you if you want to sync what you're recording or you're recording in Bluetooth and in storage and even things like remove auto branding and export that will be a paid feature as you can see right there but let's get straight into trying out the transcript let's see how it works and it's always right there at the bottom which is always quite useful so wherever you go if you go back to anywhere on the app you will see it right there so if I go to another page go to my conversation it's right there so let's click on it and again it gives you these ideas I already started recording anyway but I can click on X here so I'm a bit further away from the microphone so I'm just gonna get a little bit closer and uh, as you can see it's recording quite nicely it's recording in terms of with grammar and comma and it has the, the full stop in there and obviously it's not going to be 100% Accurate because let's remember it's artificial intelligence and um, it's robots that's doing that but if you are speaking clearly if you have no background noise or very limited background noise and you have done everything you're doing everything correctly you might even want to consider connecting your phone to a microphone that might be useful as well that might improve the audio quality which will then improve the transcript quality as well but it's very very accurate in terms of what it gives you especially if it's free it's pretty good so at the bottom you can see the different things you got there as well so I can pause it and it's already paused right now and obviously if you press stop then it'll do the whole saving thing but I can press on pause again and you can add people in conversation and uh, maybe you want to share it with people and uh, you can for some reason I don't know why we want to do this but you can add a photograph to the conversation which is an interesting feature so uh, that might be something that useful for you and you can also edit directly so if you stop talking or if you pause it maybe you want to edit something somewhere and you want to you know correct it yourself you can do that as well so that might be something useful for you as well if you think it's going to be something that you want to do on the go so that's it really and uh, let me just unpause it and continue the conversation and there we go so when we press the stop button it's, you can see save to conversation so if I go back in here and obviously you can categorize it but all conversations or my conversations and it's there right there so again you got extra features you got all these things like you play back and I'm going to do it now. Let's give it a shot. Let's get started. And I'll give you a very nice way to review your keyboard actually, which is quite good. I quite like that feature. Tap anywhere to move to the yeah, you can do all the thing, review faster so you can increase the uh, talking speed. And the tutorial is complete, so let's see how it works out. ideas I already started recording anyway but I can click on X here so I'm a bit further away from the microphone so I'm just gonna get a little bit closer and uh, as you can see it's recording quite nicely it's recording in terms of with grammar and comma and it had the, the full stop in there and obviously it's not going to be 100% accurate but let's remember it's artificial intelligence and it's okay that's a bit much isn't it the two times speed I don't know how people keep up with that but it's quite nice that you can hear it out yourself and uh, you can skip speed, you can start. That might, be that might improve the audio quality, which will then improve. As you can see, you can start 
somewhere else so it's a very nifty tool i like the way it's designed it's laid out and uh yeah i think it's quite nifty maybe it's going to be useful for some of you to use the advanced section here so that you might use it often so give it a shot i'll put the link in the description and you can check it out author.ai so there you have it let me know what you think if it's a useful tool for you let me know it'd be great for you to check it out and test that yourself it's quite nifty it's quite useful actually and uh, i think i'm gonna try to use it more often and uh, i'd love to know your thought on it don't forget if you want to support this channel you can do so on my patreon page you can check out the link below where i give access and exclusive content to my patrons and it's just great to have your support so that i can continue doing this and sharing useful things to you in the meantime i hope to speak to you again soon take care